Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I am very excited to do a just a quick review of the new 4K releases from Blue Underground of Maniac and Lucio Fulci Zombie. Now these are two films I love dearly, so I was actually pretty excited that these were the first ones that Blue Underground decided to tip their toe in in the 4K market. Now I will say up front, um, that a lot of what I'm gonna say does apply to both releases, even though obviously there are slight differences in the in the films themselves as far as how they were shot, for example. So back in 2018, Blue Underground uh, did new restorations, uh, you know, creating a 4K master and doing new restorations of the two films. These are the uh, Blu-ray releases with the, uh, <laughs> the funky slip covers, which are awesome. Now what's cool about these is that these are, I mean, these still hold up like as far as the blu-ray format itself goes uh if you have these and you're not in a hurry to either upgrade to 4k or if you don't have 4k i don't want you to feel like you're missing out if you have these you have amazing amazing releases and also uh, you know these also have the uh soundtracks too which the 4k ones do not so in relation to the 4k releases uh what does that mean well when they did the restorations of the two films again back in 2018 uh they were 4k masters that they created and they were creating them so that you not only had a 4k master and for those of you who don't know a 4k digital master is the equivalent of 30 millimeter film so in, in this case especially with zombie you're we're using a one-to-one -one ratio as far as uh, quality get you know resolution and everything and they also could create new DCPs for theatrical presentations and then obviously they were able to down convert for the blu-ray releases so now with 4k which uh, is a very expensive medium to still produce for in fact it's approximately three times the cost to do a 4k release as it does to do a blu-ray so when these independent companies try to uh, do these 4k releases so in the case of synapse with Suspiria obviously now blue underground is getting their um vinegar syndrome with taming the t-rex it's a costly venture so obviously they're all very very careful about how uh they're doing this because one release that doesn't do well um that can actually be pretty hurtful to the company so you know they they're trying to proceed uh cautiously now in the case of blue underground because they did create these new masters they already had a fantastic starting point because the blu-rays that they released again back in 2018 are phenomenal now what they did do with these new 4k releases is they did take advantage of the format so they're actually did do a couple things. They actually did go back and do some additional cleanup uh, to the two films that hadn't been done for the Blu-ray. Now, the thing is, that comes from the extra resolution of 4K. It's minor stuff, like little, you know, white specks and things that you probably wouldn't notice in the Blu-ray anyway, but in the extra resolution of 4K, you're gonna notice it, so they did go back and clean them up just a little bit more. And of course, the big thing, which to me is really where 4K shines, outside of the added resolution, which is noticeable, but not, I don't think, as night and day going from Blu-ray to 4K as it was going from DVD to Blu-ray. To me, the big difference is in the color spectrum, how much color can actually be represented in these 4k UHD releases uh, doing you know these HDR passes and stuff is astonishing the amount of color you can get the gradient of color going between colors which sometimes can fall apart a bit on lower resolutions and that to me is really where these new releases shine maniac was shot on 16 millimeter not 35 in fact they only found the 16 millimeter negative just a couple of years ago in that 2018 uh, restoration that they did was the first time I believe that they've been able to do an actual home video uh, restoration from the original 16 millimeter camera negative not from a 35 millimeter blow up and it is noticeable and I was really noticing a lot uh, with the extra resolution in several places in the film where I was just like wow actually I was really really surprised I was not expecting that now you're obviously at the limitations of just 16 millimeter in general the film is still very grainy some wider shots you're going to lose details in 
smaller objects and things like that. That's just because it's 16 millimeter. That has nothing to do with the transfer or anything. There's no way around that. But I can honestly say this is basically the best presentation of the film that you could possibly see. And of course, with the extra color pass that they're able to do with UHD, you're getting a lot more of the gradient color, especially in the darker areas of the image, lends itself to the format if it's done correctly, which in this case it has. And when it comes to Lucha Fulci Zombie in 4K, which is amazing to me, we have a Lucha Fulci film in 4K, and it's uh, probably my favorite one because it means something special to me because it is the film. It's one of two films that really got me into uh, Italian horror films. And I have to say, Zombie, I was really surprised because if you watch the Blu-ray, it looks phenomenal. But again, that extra color space in the UHD format, I was so blown away by just how good it looked. The clarity of the image, is, Zombie has always been, and which is the case with actually a lot of um, the Italian horror films, especially from the 70s and 80s, is just the film stock they were shot on, they tend to be very, very grainy. There's still grain there, uh, which you need. You can't scrub that out or you basically lose the actual detail of the image, but it's so refined. So you still have the it, natural film grain, but it's not these big blotches that, you know, plagued, you know, old, old releases. I mean, I was not expecting the big jump from the phenomenal, and again, in my opinion, Blu-rays that they did in 2018 to these new 4K releases. But I'm willing to eat a little bit of crow on that and say, I'm actually really, really impressed. And this really gets me excited for a lot of the other upcoming uh, 4K releases that Blue Underground is now going to get into. I'm actually very happy to now double dip in some of the ones that they have coming up, including more Fulci. Now, the 4K releases, uh, they don't come with a Blu-ray of the film. They only come with the uh, second Blu-ray uh, that was also included in the Blu-ray set that has all the extras. And they don't come with the CD soundtrack, which of course was in the uh, Blu-ray release. So for right now, you know, those of us do actually do have to double dip uh, if, if you really want the 4K releases. And they do include the audio tracks that they included before, so they do uh, have the, for example, on Zombie, it has the mono track, it has a remix 5.1 track, and it also has a brand new Dolby Atmos track. With Maniac, it has the original stereo mix, it has a 5.1 remix, and it also has a Dolby Atmos mix. Now, the Dolby Atmos mix, I have to admit, uh, sounded really good. I didn't hear things, you know, bouncing off the ceiling and all that, you know, any of that stuff that you would think of with Atmos, but what it did do was at least give much more of a fullness audio mix for both films, which I do appreciate. And again, if I want to, I luckily they have the original mixes on both releases that I can also go back and listen to if I want. And I do want to also point out something. Uh, now this is only in the first pressing and they are selling out pretty fast, uh, but I just want to take a moment to actually talk about the slip covers here uh, because they are actually nice slip covers. I mean, obviously they are the 4K slip covers, but um, I don't know, I'm hoping you're going to be able to pick this up on camera. So in, for example, in the zombie title, it actually is, it's actually sticking out. Now, what's cool is that it's not just there. On the side where it also says zombie, that is actually also sticking out. And on the back, the one at the top, but even this little tiny, I don't know if I can catch it, this little tiny one right here, the little zombie one there, that is also kind of puffy and sticking out. I just thought that was actually really, really cool and a very, very cool detail. I mean, again, they could have just gone with, you know, the title and left it at that. Oh, and actually, I just noticed the We Are Going to Eat You at the top is also a little puffy. And on Maniac, they also did the same thing. So the outline of the infamous figure is uh, sticking out just a little bit. It's not too much. You can kind of see it's just the outline of it. But again, the title of Maniac, this one probably because it's white, it's not gonna catch as much. But again, the title is sticking out also on the side here. And once again on the back, the title at the top where it says Maniac 
and and this little one at the bottom here just a little bit puffy i mean again i just thought that was actually really cool that they did that on both of these releases and i do want to mention real quick too that all the extras that were on the blu-ray release with the exception of the soundtrack are carried over so the movie discs even though they mainly just have the movie they do have like the commentary tracks and like the trailer and like commercials and stuff and then all the longer uh documentaries and things like that are on the included extras uh disc so that is nice that you're not missing out on any of the extras with the exception of obviously the soundtrack so i just want to end this by really saying what an amazing job blue underground has done with their first foray into 4k so all the work that they put into it definitely paid off and i have to say i I know they're a little bit pricey and when you make the jump to 4k or if you're already in the 4k area they come so highly re recommended even if it means double dipping if you can afford it in my opinion it is worth it so those are my thoughts on the new blue underground releases of maniac and zombie definitely let me know your thoughts on them especially if you've gotten them or if you're thinking about getting them and obviously or if you have any questions about them i'll try and answer them as best i can and as always thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one one.